Hello my friends, Uncle Misha is here and welcome to Incident Electronic Channel. As you see, we have a lot of stuff here. So what the heck is this? This is some old 1980s broadcasting stuff. So this was actually given to me by a gentleman a, with name Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. And uh, he just gave it up, like, okay, remove it from my house. And uh, now I have to deal with this. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm really, really interested to see what are those because I see some interesting goodies right here. And let's, um, let's, you know, go through this together and see what the heck are those i haven't seen this sort of broadcasting thing is never seen before so yeah i'm gonna be doing like i put this um, this this is right now on my bench i'm gonna remove it from bench and gonna be taking one by one and we're gonna be looking what are those because clearly those are not vhs this is something completely different so let's uh, us begin. I saw I'm gonna reach and took the very first thing that I see, and this is like a book size thing from Memorex. It says UCA 10 and Umatic. Honestly, I'm not sure what the heck is that supposed to mean. And the only thing I see here it says Master Color Flintstone 60 seconds English. It, it, it clearly because it can be in two languages because here in Canada clearly it's Canadian broadcasting tapes in Canada we can have English and French so here it says English in fading colors what is this this is never seen this sort of tape before it's a little kind of uh, a fugly sticker over here saying flintstone 62nd english master wow i never actually seen this sort of tapes before this is this is does it look like oh, okay sorry i'm kind of lost my word here this totally look like something is which is predating vhs because those three pins is, they really look like some of the old l cassettes or something to this extent of sony's an interesting the rotation and tapes goes like it goes like this it looks like to me i don't know how to open this thingy this is made of metal whoa pretty beastly that's pretty huge tape i think it's wider than it's like one inch or something and there is even like little flap over here in the back uh, compressing tape I guess against the head this is a really massive piece of thing oh my god yeah it's clearly before me that's clearly before me so okay um, I'm definitely gonna investigate what the heck are those and uh, I'll share with you yeah definitely gonna share with you okay Sony video cassette alignment tape. This is something cool. Oh wow! It's a... what kind of video cassette is this? And it's like a, it's smaller. Do not touch tape inside. What the? Wow! It's interesting. It has tape speed. 1 kilohertz tone of some sort, 10 kilohertz tone, content, video, monoscope, color bars, RF sweep, CTL only, CTL only, then audio, 3 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, minus 10. Whoa, this is sick, this is some sort of calibration tape. And it's and it's a lot of tape in there in comparison to other one. I'm just curious, the size is completely different. This is so much smaller and lighter, the other one was like a beast. I don't even know what kind of video cassette is this. Like previous one said Umatic. This one says nothing really. Error. Well, the only thing which I have here is error RR51S. This is this is awesome. I don't know what the heck is this, but this is awesome. Okay, let's rub more. Uh, it says sticks do not erase service depth. It's probably service department. Oh, another one of those. Uh, 
color video cassette. I'm not sure what kind of even brand is this. It kind of have this convenient hole to put your finger in here. It's clearly Sony one, uh, made in Japan. Nice. Whatever it is, and whatever it's here, sticks. It sticks here. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's like I have no idea what are those. Another one of those. Now this time it has Umatic S. Umatic S. Sweet. Ah, it's a test tape. Key S Sony design for steel picture production. Sony Key uh, KCS twenty. I assume twenty is like twenty second. Uh, sorry, twenty minutes. This is even twenty right here. Key CAS Umatic S. Wow, record A. <laughs> Crazy. We have another one of those, but this one is really dusty, really beat up. It has this red thingy song, something. Yeah, Ternal Associates Limited Ottawa. So yeah, clearly somewhere from, from here, from Ottawa. Made in Japan. This one is yellowed a lot, so that was probably exposed to elements of some sort of pretty dusty one. It's crazy. Okay, let's take a look at this one. It says Sony Video Cassette Alignment Tape RR51S. It's crazy business here. Look at this tape. It has serial number, lot number, video cassette, blah blah blah, cal calibration values. It has content even. Color bar, sweep, CTL, audio, 3 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz. Wow, this is key. The calibration tape is probably this is alignment tape of some sort. This alignment tape is probably something something interesting. This is something to keep around. It's alignment and calibration tapes are usually rare to come by. So that's another one I just picked out of the box. It says sticks do not erase service depth I guess service department that's quite d dusty and covered in some kind of oil or something cheese it's uh, probably Sony as well yeah Sony quite a lot of tape but still not as much as uh, an other one I'm not sure even what the length of those tapes and things like that yeah it's crazy here's another one uh, it says Journal Associated Limited Auto Video Systems. So clearly it's from somewhere he around here. The not touch tape. Like that's that's cool. Those tapes. This one is actually quite uh, in rough shape because it's all yellowed. Looks like it was open to elements. Yeah, interesting. But I'm I'm super excited to figure out what are those tapes. And we have one more. Oh, this one. This time, it's it. At least it says what kind of type of cassettes are those. It says Umatic S. So you have to see because it's like probably because the the big the beast one. It was probably Umatic, and this Umatic S is like better generation or something. The Umatics here. It, this one Sony as well, and the Key CS Twenty Umatic S. I assume twenty is twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Look at this. It's almost. I mean, it's almost full of tape, 20 minutes. It's probably pretty high speed here. Not much more. Assembled in USA. But, uh, I probably removed this, I don't know how can I even access that. Ah, ah, ah just a sticker. <laughs> nice. So, let's pull something else out of this box. Let's see, I don't know what the heck is that. Sony Corporation Tokyo Japan. Let's open this. Oh. <laughs> What the heck is this? <laughs> uh, some kind of code in there. It's pretty heavy, so I assume it's full of tape. But we don't see... Oh, we see actually uh, there is a little window here. Whoa! Probably some old... Oh, it's pro... Why do you have this? Oh, it's probably to do this, I assume. Like, plink. Because they don't have this convenient hole like the newer one. 60! It's probably 60 minutes. That's a lot of tape. It's and it's really heavy. Holy smokes! It's probably this Umatic, not S. We have one more of these coins. Oh, this time is Ampex, and it has Flintstones again. 
English 1198, whatever it says, there it means. It's like dollar 1198. Look at that. Whew, this one kind of a bit in rough shape looks like. S sick. Ampex. Yeah, I wish I had the player to play all this stuff because this clearly not for VHS standard. So now, now something very, very interesting. Look at those. Huh? What do you think? Are they? What do you think on them? Oh my god. Probably some sort of broadcast media stuff. What would you use to actually uh, watch content of, from these? Look, it's a bit mangled here. Wow. Let's take a look if you have a chance. Now it's, my fingers are already dirty. Look at this tape. It's, it's I'm curious. <laughs> what if you like... Uh, it's what? It's, it's like three quarter inch or something? Yeah. It's not VHS, it's a bit, a, bit, a bit smaller, but at the same time it's not um, the big one, or whatever, it looks like one inch uh, size. It's more, it's more like a high 8 kind of uh, tape. Yeah, wow. High, uh, high 8 or 8 mm, no, it's, no, it's not 8 mm, it's way more than that. 3 quarter inch, yeah. No. Yeah, I'm, I have no idea what the heck are those. I'm gonna put them over here. Yeah, because I need to put them in box of some sort. There is a few more. Look at this one. Oh, this one at least says it's Sony videotape. Look at the cool spool. It's really awesome. Oh, it's mangled. Yeah, I have to put them in some kind of con boxes because they're gonna get mangled. They're all pretty dusty. It's not good for the player. Or whatever player is gonna be for that. Okay, one more. Oh, it's amazing! Another alignment tape. Look at this. Stair step, one kilohertz. Flying spot, one kilohertz. Air frequency, uh, radio frequency sweep, seven kilohertz. Five minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Refer to service manual to use. This is sick. This could be useful for whoever. Like I'm all dirty, dirty fingers. So we have also some electronic gear. Right here, uh, some sort of power, oh, camera, power supply, power supply for camera, so camera in power supply, this button here, you have some, oh, some ref goodness right here, video, out. Like, this is interesting, so this is power supply for camera, in the same time it is also the uh, uh, video, uh, audio in, uh, output, here's even the remote, microphone, line, Give me a break, and here are some pins for camera. Oh, look at this connector. That's amazing. Someone even tried to MacGyver something here because it was busted, I guess. Nice. Yeah, and it's uh, by Panasonic. Panasonic video camera. Oh, we need to, oh yeah, I can take a look what the heck is this. Yeah, I can take a look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna put picture here of this uh, WV450 camera and we will figure out maybe it could record one of those uh, weird cassettes. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Oh, I fished out something else here. Oops, I'll be fine. This, I think I know what the heck is this. I think this is some sort of demagnetizer. It's clearly demagnetizer. Not sure if it's operational, but yeah, it is demagnetizer. It's, uh, again, I'm not sure how powerful it is, if it's okay for the, um, for example, cassette players I have, maybe it's too strong, maybe it doesn't have to be, but for maybe for real to real, like this guy, yeah, it's gonna be good, but I'm not sure if you can use it for helical scan heads, can you? I don't know, 
because all those video cassettes are clearly not linear uh, sorry video cassettes the tapes and the other ones are clearly not linear they are helical scan i don't believe you can feed much of the signal on the tape uh, being not 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 helical and so i'm gonna take a look at this, this yana gta 135 yeah it's, that's cool that's maybe useful actually okay well at the same time i'm gonna deal with another piece of radio equipment which is this some kind of amplifier distribution amplifier made in canada you know one watt 117 uh, vac looks like clearly made in canada a bit of a jobby but linsday ma1204a input whatever are those have no idea maybe input and four outputs amplified cool K -k curious what's the game factor here a little bit flimsy but aluminum extrusion here yeah uh, curious what kind of power supply a little transformer power supply probably i don't believe it's like a capacitor dropper or anything like that and it's not heavy at all it's pretty light that's cool i'm gonna take a look but i'm not it's not my kind of stuff maybe yeah okay look at that what the heck is this another sort of videotape thingy Oh, oh, this, oh, that's what it is. So, V30H, videotape for helical scan, videotape recorders. Made in Japan, of course. Oh, this is cool, okay, so, yeah. So, we need to find other boxes for the other tapes. Oh, it says alignment as well. Okay, so this is alignment VSS, alignment VSS. So this is alignment tape for this sort of cassettes, I guess. Oh, one empty. V300D Let's say so one of those let's say this alignment tape probably the most valuable out of them go in here If it's gonna fit No, nope, it's not for here. Oops Okay, let's just leave it there. Oh my god. So so dusty and stuff Okay, what is that V35? Automatic automatic threading. Oh cool Some papers in here So this one with automatic threading, I'm not sure what's the difference from these other ones. To ensure optimum performance, please take the following precautions. Oh, why? It's just like even the user man. Oh my god, look at this, it's old. Holy smokes, look at this old stuff. Before initiating automatic type threading, be sure that empty auto reel in place to Keep the real to, to take up the real spindle. La la la. After use, rewind and put in the box. No heat. Don't touch. Of course. Where is that? Oh, this is sort of like a sticker. Stickers. Okay, not gonna touch. It says don't touch. Oops. Oops. Already messed it up. <laughs> okay, gonna not touch it. Just pull it like this. This thing is metal, apparently. It's... And let's just put it in here. This is cool. V35. Looks like we just... I'm gonna pull two more. We have looks like two more of these kinds. This is totally full of tape. Army training tape. Oh, this one's so interesting to see what the heck is here. Like it's, I can't really read what does it say here. Army training tape. Oh, this is freaking amazing. V30D. Okay, I'm building the mountain covering the light here. Tunnel Production Incorporated. B, B, that's it. That's all we have on this tape. Does it say anything else? On the oh, it's different color. It's more like a brownish. Unless it threaded improperly. No, it is. Look at this, it's different kind. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all this stuff. Because I'm not even sure if this equipment still exists anywhere in the world. Unless, maybe in... Um, um, 
Archives Canada, this stuff exists. Who knows, you know? Well, who knows? Maybe we're in Canadian archives. I'm gonna put this to this side. Okay, now we have a bunch of different types. I'm gonna just take a few of them in the same time because I'm not sure it's gonna be a long story. So we have these. This is something I never seen before as well. So for me, everything for me here is like big, like, like what the hell is is going on here? So, so this looks like this is looks like a beta Betamax tapes. Not sure because Betamax, I think he has multiple. Oh, uh oh. Looks like some spiders are living here. Oh, look at this. Betamax tape, I think they have like uh, multiple different um, Betamax standards. I'm not even sure what are those. But they are pretty cute in comparison to the other ones. Can you open it? Mm, oh, oh yeah. I oh. have to press the little thingy right here. Cl tape is more is more like a this tape. Um, I think the yeah, it's more like a, this this thickness. So I need to again learn what are those. But it's much more smaller than VHS. It's pretty cool. So we have 125, which is 42 minutes, and um, 250 is for some reason 78 minutes, not 84. Interesting. And I think it is some sort of user manual. It says audio and power supply. 26 minutes oh it's meters probably not minutes actually no I don't know maybe it is minute so in the back here it says Betamax X2 60 minutes and X1 divided by Betamax is 30 minutes sure like what yeah I have no idea where are those and we think I think we have tons of these Oh, L500, that's the biggest one, 150M. Yeah, it's pretty much two times more. Oh, like look at some spiders are living in here. But they are so cute. 13 of 18. Now, how many I have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Look, I have a lot. I would have a lot of these. Look, more. L500, 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 and 14 out of 18, 18 out of 15, 15 out of 18, 12 things. So, I don't think I have 18, but I have. Oh, this is really... This so, <laughs> oh, this is quite a collection here. So, this is quite a collection. Should we show what I'm going to be doing with all this stuff? Look at this. It's more. And one more. Betamax. This is something else. This is Sony Betamax application 14 minutes. Master. August 2878. Oops. So dates. This is actually the first one with the date. This one. Like this is the only one with the date. Everything else doesn't have any date. No. No. 54 minutes. It's amazing. Oh, holy smokes! Look at this, it's like it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 only. So 12 out of 18, so like 6 tapes are missing of this, of this sort of, and this is something else. So I have 13 Betamax tapes. Again, I'm not really sure w what sort of player would play these, but I think at least these guys are a little bit easier to come by to play a player for Betamax. Uh, I haven't any seen anything in my life which would play this sort of business. Right. But this is this is actually pretty cute looking, I, I must say. This is probably the the nicest thing. Like they just they just too old school looking like yeah the, the other ones the the umatics they are like very like beefy and hardcore they very utilitarian it looks like the splash of solder here and <laughs> crazy and uh, these guys are cute as well but they are probably a bit modern than the rest of the stuff yeah 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 sure again i have to learn what the heck are those what what is it good quality how would it compare to vhs and i have no idea so my next step oh this wait this is not all okay let me 
I'm gonna just move this all just here because we have something like a box of some sort. <laughs> oh, look at this, this is deluxe disc box. Oh, okay, this is not what I thought it is. It's not no tapes here. What the f Okay, this is clearly deflector coils of the CRT. Nice. Yeah, there's old gold, uh, old school stuff for you, my friends. Okay, what? Okay, this is totally not what I expected. I hope there is no permanent magnets here because otherwise those tapes don't have anything. Oh, there is more. <laughs> Holy smokes! Okay, this is yeah. Some sort of a ref 40. It's probably looks like it's someone gave me like a whole bunch of bunch of spare parts of old TV. Cool pots though. Oh, this is even the wire port pots. Nice pots are also always useful, but these are old school. Oh, some Nichicon capacitors, nice. I'm curious how are they? Gonna gonna check them if they're still alive, you know. Oh, uh, some some Sony business right here. Nice. What are those capacitors like? This actually, uh, these sort of capacitors are are leaked in my cassette deck. So I'm not sure what kind of brand is this. Doesn't say anything else except this weird logo. Matsushita, Mitsubishi, whatever, Mitsubishi, whatever it is. Look at this old, old caps. No, this is a resistor actually. This is probably a capacitor. Um, inductor Micron Micron yeah really my god yeah it's curious how how those are faring out how they still good or this is all junk so there is more there's some transistors here okay I'm gonna move them some of them away look at those beefy Sony transistors curious what the heck are those those uh, 15 ohm 3 watt Resistors, 5%, it's not too bad. 5% 15 ohm resistors, yeah. Some diodes right here. Cool, curious what the heck. Whoa, look at those caps. Nice, film film caps, I guess. <laughs> what the heck was it? Oh, here, it's, uh, it's um, the electrodes. Look at those diodes, or what are they, these guys? No, I don't know what they are, or they are not diodes. Capacitors, jeez. Have more goodness here. Another Sony trainies. Not only one, that's actually, I'm not sure it's probably a good transistor. 2SC867, come power transistor, I think. Hope I have more than one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, could be useful. Could be useful. 240 ohm micron. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure how many watts resistor. That's cool. Oh yeah. Uh, again, no markings. Japan. Not sure if it's mains transformer. It possible to verify, but <laughs> yeah, you don't know, right? Oh. Another Sony. Oh yeah, we have a pair of these. That's cool. So whatever they are, if they are power transistors, can use them as a part of amplifier. Mm -hmm. This one says 15 watt. That's good. That's good. 3.3 kilo ohm. Ohm kilo. Yeah, I think it's kilo ohm. Let's see. I can measure that. Looks like someone just was collecting bits and pieces. Look at those pots. Are they any good? 3 kilo ohm, 500 ohms, that can be useful, 20 kilo ohm, yeah, it's good to have, why not, Japan, like it's not... Yeah, that's just junk, clearly have to like sort through this junk and just throw some away, what the heck is this? Oh, this is cool pot, this can be 1 kilo ohm, with some resistors here. 
it's okay. Plasticky. Yeah, this is probably focusing for the um, uh, CRT. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. That's nice. Oh yeah, so, that's it. What is this lighter? It is a lighter. <laughs> it's like okay. Well, um, clearly someone just gave me a junk, but some of this junk can be useful, as you saw. Yeah, uh, so guys, this is clearly junk, like, I mean, I'm not sure we're gonna do with all this. This is sort of junk as well, but it's probably a bit more useful junk than this junk. Because usually I don't keep parts around, because these days it's very easy to uh, get the resistors. In, like, it's you don't have to keep a bunch of these things around, like this solder all them and just, you know, waste your precious space. So I'm not sure we're gonna do with this, probably just gonna ditch it. Maybe you take those transistors and probably the most valuable parts here. Uh, because capacitors are short, this RF stuff, I don't even know what the heck I'm gonna do with this. Uh, I mean, cap electrolytic capacitors. Maybe there is some, you know, some, some more trannies here. Maybe there is a yeah, high frequency of some sort of trannies. Capacitors, I don't think I can reuse them because they are probably so old. I'm not sure. So, maybe there are some good film film capacitors. You're gonna just pull them out. This is some cool pots here. This is like a wire pot. It's it's nice. Yeah, 3.3, microfarad, 160 volt. That's useless. 25 microfarad, 460, 470. Sorry, 25 volt, 470 microfarad. This could be a useful one, but it's only one. Yeah. So yeah. So it's probably power supply. No, it's not. Vertical size, horizontal size. No, uh, so this is probably was the part of the uh, the CRT driving uh, circuit. Yeah. Oh wow. Just to uh, to drive the tilt vertical. Yeah, maybe it was some sort of monitor. Yeah, it's cool. And someone already pulled the capacitor here. It's no capacitor missing. Right. So, guys, definitely gonna be second part of the video yes, of this, where I figure out what are these and these and others, and I talk about them. Because right now, for me, this is more like a mystery. All right, guys, I hope that was entertaining, because sometimes you can have uh, junk, but can find some treasures in this junk. <laughs> so I wish you be lucky and find junk in a, sorry, treasure in the junk, and see you next time, and ciao.